then uh, you're relatively fit. I, I see that you run on a regular basis and you cycle. Is being fit part of the game in, in the corporate arena? Your yeah. health, is it very important? I think the balance that you referred to earlier with, with your family life and your personal life, it's even more so than with your health. I, don't, I think if you're not a balanced person, you can't be a good leader. You must have balance in your life in all areas. I, I guess you can get spirituality into the, into the equation as well. Um, you must have balance in your life. I'm not as fit as I was 10 years ago. Um, I would like to be fitter, so that's that balance. Um, cycling, running, um, trying to ignore all the injuries, but that is, that is great fun. It, you must be fit, you must have a good balance. Along your corporate career, have you ever made any significant mistakes? I'm sure that we've all made mistakes through, uh, through life. I, I think what maybe in hindsight what I haven't done badly is I wasn't too ambitious or too pushy at certain things. Um, I've never sat to say, but what must I do next? I've done what I'm doing now well, and what will come will come. Um, and I think that's maybe, so I haven't made big mistakes. You know, when I decided to leave the profession, I was, I'm, an, I'm an accountant and I was in the profession and I decided to leave the profession in 1990 because it, it just didn't do it for me anymore. Um, that was a good, a good decision because I don't think I was an accountant at heart. Um, so I don't think I've made any major mistakes and I think the reason for that is that I'm not hastily in making, in making decisions. I'm quite happy to wait, perform and things will happen. When it comes to decisions, are you quick to make decisions once you've thought the process through? Look, I'm very quick to make decisions. Sometimes being blamed for being a little bit maverick, because um, nothing happens if you don't make decisions. You have to make decisions. Obviously, you must you must get the right information and you must have um, the right thinking process in place to make a decision. But the later you make a decision, the less efficient you can be implementing it. But that's where a strong team is also there. No, but um, I think it's a, a trait I have is a quick decision maker. Where to from here for Afrox, the company? Is there big growth in, in the pipeline? Is this one that shareholders should be putting in their bottom drawer and reaping significant rewards down the line? Look, I think a com the company as it is, we've got relatively good market shares in all the areas we play, so the company is well positioned. The growth areas that's going to come to Afrox in South Africa is probably mostly around the growth in the economy. Um, so if the so you need to see 4% GDP. If the GDP grows 4%, we can probably grow 5 6% because on the top end of the GDP is manufacturing and infrastructure development, and that's the area we play. I think a lot of growth for us is in, in Africa, in the rest of Africa, outside of South Africa. We are present in 14, 15 countries outside of South Africa, but there's still a lot of opportunities out there. Countries like Angola, with the oil industry developing there at a huge pace, um, there's huge opportunities in those countries. So that's where we're going to get a lot of growth is outside of South Africa. Are you spending time investigating these opportunities on the continent? No, a lot. We, we've got a big team working in Africa. That's 25% of our, of our income, as you know. About 20% about of, our, of our people works in Africa. We've got local managers in all those countries. Do you uh, travel? I spent a lot of time in Africa, yes. I also enjoy traveling into Africa. Um, but now we're very close to what's happening in Africa and we will get to those opportunities. You joined Afrox in 2007. Where to from here for, for you? Look, that's, um, that's probably what I referred to earlier. I, I don't map out my career to say that I'm going to be here for two or three years or four years or five years and then I'm going to do that for the next time. What I do believe in, though, is that you shouldn't sit in a position for too long. And, and that's why I think the American system, two terms of four years is about the maximum. I don't think you should sit in a position for longer than that, maybe even a little bit shorter. Certainly you should be there long enough to to deliver what you've promised. Um, so you must implement the you stuff. You know I'm doing calculations now. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> 2011, four years. Sure. Uh, are you uh, looking I'm at an exit I've strategy? been here for three years now. I don't think I should sit in this job more than eight years, as I've said. Um, obviously, there's not another job in Afrox. Um, as I've said, I'm a good South African. Um, so, but that's still five years ago, so it's um, five years to go, so it's still, still a relatively long way. Besides the, the corporate aspect, what about Chart Kruger? What's next on the agenda personally for you? Uh, look, I'm, I'm 50 now, so my daughter say that's quite old. I think it's still relatively young. Um, I'm not, I don't have retirement in my, in my head, so if, if I sit in, in, at Afrox for another five years or so, or whatever the five, six, seven years, doesn't matter what the, what the time is, I think that will probably take me close to 55, so I think, I hope I'm still energetic enough 
to do something after that. And I think we must also use the skills that we build up in people. I think I've got something to offer. If it's not something in corporate life South Africa, maybe it is something in the, in the charity arena. Um, I'm quite passionate about the corporate social work that we do in Afrox and the stuff we've done at Tiger, the United Guest Hunger stuff that we've done there. Uh, maybe it's in that area, maybe it's just being a good citizen, maybe it's getting involved in smaller businesses of which the farm could be one. But I don't map it out too much and I don't live into the future too much. And Chart, finally, advice that you would offer to other members of the corporate arena wanting to make it in the corporate game? Ma make sure, if, you, if you're a youngster, make sure you get well qualified. There's no replacement for education. There's no replacement for having the skills. So if you want to go, if engineering is your game, become an engineer and be a good engineer. So get the skills, the skill set that, that you think is required for the area that you want to go into. And then there's no replacement for hard work. And, and being diligent in what you do. And, and I really do believe that if, we, if you deliver, you'll, you'll, you'll get ahead, people will look for you, people will head on you, because um, that's what we want. We want people on our team that deliver.